Good morning, everybody. How's it going today? I'm gonna teach you how to do a nollie nose slide, uh, specifically a nollie backside nose slide. Um, this trick is really fun because this is kind of like one of the first tricks where you're kind of combining two tricks and it's a little bit technical. And it also just feels really good when you pop off that nose and then land in the nose side and like do the little nollie pop. It just makes you feel cool. I remember when I was a little kid, I kind of felt like I was Paul Rodriguez, like gnawing into tricks. And this was the first trick that made me feel like that. So I'm really excited to go over it. So the first thing that you need to be able to do is you need to have a really good nose slide. I mean, obviously. Um, and like I always try to talk about on this channel is like, don't skip the fundamentals. If you have the fundamentals down, learning skateboarding is gonna just become exponentially easy for you. So have backside nose slides really well. And another thing to keep in mind is you wanna have a really good nollie. And when you're first learning, you don't really think about it, but you need to be able to pop off the ground and level out the nollie. So you need to be able to pick that front foot up so you can kind of poke the nollie out because that's what really helps you pop, lift up the front foot so that you get enough elevation so you can just slap the nose slide in there. It's actually really important. All right, so after we got the nollie and the nose slide down, you wanna set your feet up. So I set up just like I would for a nollie. The only thing that I like to keep in mind is my back foot. I want to not really put it in the middle of the board. I kind of want to put a little bit of my heel hanging off. And I think that's a big mistake that people make is they put their foot like this. And when they nollie, they kind of can like drag the board against their heel and it can kind of hurt. So I like to put my foot a little bit more like this. So that when I pop, my foot just goes like this. One of the biggest issues with this trick is timing. This trick pretty much comes down to how you pop your nollie and your timing of if you pop it too early or too late so you can put it into the nose slide. And when you first start, this is pretty difficult. So what I would recommend is finding yourself a trusty little curb or a trusty little ledge, something really small. And you wanna just ride straight into the curb and just practice your timing. You're gonna figure out if you're popping too early or too late, you'll be able to kind of pick that foot up and you just wanna stall on the ledge. You just wanna go straight into it and stall on the ledge. And once you're comfortable with that, instead of going perpendicular, you wanna slowly change your angle into where you're coming into it at a slight angle. You might even land and like slide and slip back, whatever. But this stage, you just wanna play with your timing and figure out how to stall onto the ledge. Once you're really comfortable stalling onto the ledge every time, you're ready to try it on a real ledge. So the ledge that I'm gonna be doing this example on is a official size ledge, it's pretty tall. But when you're learning, try to find the smallest ledge possible because since you are popping off your nose and if you're kind of new to skating, you know, it's really hard to get a proper nollie up onto a good like foot or foot and a half size ledge. So if you can, find a smaller ledge. But once you're ready to try this trick, there's really two huge things that are gonna make a world of difference with this trick. The first thing is, a lot of beginners seem to take way too harsh of an angle into the ledge. Now I know you just practice this on like a little curb, um, but the trick is you wanna come as parallel as possible. Now obviously with this trick, if you come parallel, you're not gonna hit the ledge. You're gonna pop as high as you can and you won't be able to move it. So you still have to come in at like a pretty healthy angle, but the trick is to come at the smallest angle possible. Not only is it gonna help you get in there easier, it's also gonna help you from sticking. This trick is notorious for getting stuck on. Like it is so easy to stick because you're putting so much force on your nose and you're coming at a pretty aggressive angle. So wax the ledge as much as you can and just try to cut that angle down. In the beginning, you're obviously gonna be coming at more of an aggressive angle, but just try to cut it down lower and lower and it's gonna really make a huge difference for the nollie nose slide. The next huge thing, that you gotta keep in mind is your shoulders, okay? So this trick is the cousin or the brother to the nollie crook, okay? And with the nollie crook, you wanna come in at that angle, but you keep your shoulders locked and the only thing that's looking at the ledge is your eyes, right? Only your neck is turned. The nollie no slide is the same trick except for when you go to the ledge, you're slightly open, okay? Now what that's gonna do is when you come into the ledge and you pop, right when you pop, if that shoulder's open, you're naturally gonna open your shoulders. And when you open your shoulders effortlessly, you just pop up and you just turn into a perfect nose slide. And like I said, with the nollie crook, it's the same trick, except for you keep those shoulders locked so that you don't turn. 
but with a nollie nose slide, if you find that angle like this, and right when you spot the ledge, this shoulder's already open. When you pop, you just fully open up, and you're gonna lock into that nose slide perfectly. So, when it comes to popping off of this trick, I don't really feel like I have to go over that. It's just like a nose slide. Um, I have a video on nose slides. If you wanna check that out, just search my channel and I go over like how to pop out of the nose slide. But once you're on there, just make sure that your foot is like this. Try to put more of your foot on the board so that your heel doesn't drag and just try to have your weight nice and flat. All of your weight is on the front foot. I like to center my chin right above that front foot. You wait for the end of the ledge and then you just pop off. So like I said, the biggest things to avoid is, you know, not having a good nollie. If you don't have a good nollie, you're not gonna get in. Like a lot of people go like this, they pop and they try to push it in and here's the ledge and the nose just pushes in. You need to be able to pop, lift the foot up and then go into the nose slide. So make sure that your nollies are really fluid and after you pop, you suck that leg up. If you got that down, you practice on a small little curb to get your timing right, and you're just really, really conscious of the angle that you take and how you kind of want to have an open shoulder, put those together, and then you're going to get the nollie nose slide. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. We're on day four of waking up early and getting these trick tips out, and I'm feeling great. Hit that subscribe button, shoot me a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.